I am firing up the Fontana Mangiafuoco today. We're gonna to be doing homemade pitas, which are way better than any store-bought pita you'll ever get, guaranteed. Gonna get started right now. So let's put this dough together. It's very easy. I'm gonna start off with 225 grams of warm water. This is around 90, 95 degrees. 225 grams. Into that, I've got eight grams. I'm using a instant yeast. Eight grams going in. And that's more yeast than what I normally would typically use on a low overnight ferment because I want it to rise quickly. It's not gonna have as much flavor as letting it go overnight. The uh, gluten structure won't be as good, but it's gonna be good enough. Now I've got 360 grams of flour, all-purpose flour. I wanna go in with about half of that to start with. Somewhere right in there. We'll get back to the rest of it here in a little bit. Let's just mix that up good. Now I'm gonna go in with some plastic wrap and I'm just gonna let that sit here for around 15 minutes. And we're gonna check and make sure that our yeast is in fact good. Yeast can go bad if it sits up too long. So before we go through all these motions, I wanna make sure this yeast is good. In 15 minutes, we should start seeing some bubbles in the bottom of this. We have been going around 15 minutes and I'm seeing bubbles. And that's all as far, that's just to make sure your yeast is still good. I didn't add sugar to this. Sugar would normally feed yeast for even a faster reaction, but this particular recipe does not call for it. So now I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. I have 20 grams of olive oil. This is a good extra virgin olive oil going in. And I have six grams of kosher salt. Now the remainder of this flour, that's a total of 360 grams. I used about half of it. Now I'm using the other half. All right, now we just simply work that by hand and get us a shaggy dough ball going on. So if it appears to be too dry to you, don't worry about it. Just know that if you let it set and keep working it, it will hydrate. So this is the point where you wanna get your hands in there. Your hands are absolutely the best tools for working with dough. Keep working this until you get everything all in one ball. It's gonna take you three, four minutes to get to that point. Then we'll have to continue to knead it after that. Now I want to take and throw it here on the table. I'm not gonna flour the table. It might try to stick but I'll just keep working it. If you work it long enough and knead it long enough, it's not gonna get as sticky. So this is all I'm gonna do is just keep working this for probably eight to 10 minutes. And I'll bring you back here in a few minutes and show you what it looks like after eight to 10 minutes. It's gonna get very smooth and uh, it's gonna get a lot better shape. Just keep working it. We are pretty much there at this point. It's a lot smoother than what it was. You could keep going and get it even smoother, but this is smooth enough because we got more to do a little later on. But first, I wanna take a container, take a little olive oil right in the bottom. I don't know if you noticed, but this flour is not near as sticky as what it was. So we'll go in the bottom. Pull that up good. Get this side. And what that does is stop it from forming a skin over it. Now I'm gonna get some plastic wrap, I'm gonna cover this, and it's gonna take around two hours for this to double in size. Let me introduce you to Thermopro's newest thermometer. This is called the Lightning, and this is their one second and a under thermometer, super fast. So there it is out of the box. It's beautiful, I love that black look to it. It's just a really good looking thermometer. And the thing about it, it's super fast. I meant super fast, they named it right. And also, it's extremely accurate. This thermometer is accurate within a half a degree 
plus or minus. This thermometer is available right now and they are having a big savings on this. I'll have links in the description. There's also a code in there that you'll use to get 30% off. 30% off of this and that will last until December the 13th. So if you want to get that savings on this thermometer, you need to jump in there and get it before the 13th. And Thermapro wants me to give one of these away. So if you'll like this video and leave a comment in the comments below this video that you're watching, then next week I'll announce the winner through a random drawing. If you would like to try to win one of these, just make sure you comment and like this video. Thermapro Lightning. Only been going an hour and 15 minutes and as you can see, it's more than doubled. I've already taken flour and floured my surface here. Get this out onto our surface here. Now I want to take and uh, I want to weigh this. All right, I'm zeroed out. Let's just see what this weighs. That is 581 grams. 581 divided by six. 96 uh, grams, 96.83 grams is what we're gonna make these dough balls. A little too much. That's 94, that's close enough. All right, all I wanna do is just form these into some little dough balls. I've got some of this Baker spray, which is just an aerosol flower. Put that right there. And I'm gonna keep going until I have all six. All right, so I have my six dough balls. I'm gonna take some plastic wrap Spray the side that's going to be up against the flour and cover this up. And they got to go roughly 25 minutes. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and roll these out. And uh, we're going to start cooking. All right, we have been going long enough. So I'm just going to take one of these out without uncovering the rest. Add a little bit of flour to this because we're going to run it through my Vivor dough sheeter. Turn this bad boy on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try one and then we'll get the rest of these done. And we have our oven up to somewhere between 550 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, I'm done. I just put the cover back on this, this pizza oven because, man, let me tell you, this thing's fine in the winter time. You take that cover off, you got instant heater. All right, I'm gonna take one. You can see how they ballooned up, and that's exactly what they're supposed to do. You have to have it really hot in a pizza oven. I ended up going up uh, actually a little bit in excess of 600 degrees, and poof, they just pop right up. But anyway, let's cut into one and see what the inside looks like. There we go. That was the original. Hot pocket. <laughs> All right, I've got to try a piece of this. I'm gonna forfeit this one. Actually, I'm gonna eat this one. It's very soft, it's not dried out. And that's the problem if you don't have your oven hot enough, it will get too hard, it will dry it out. And so you gotta have it really hot to where it cooks fast. These average about a minute and a half. Mmm. Mmm. Here. All right, guess I gotta try a piece of this. That brings a whole new level to bread, man. That's some good bread there, Pop Pop. Yes, it is. All right, so, 
real quick, I'm, I'm going to throw together some eggs with jalapenos and cheese, and we're going to stuff one of these up. I'll bring you back for that. But keep in mind, hang on, let me swallow. Okay. Man, the possibilities are endless. You can do like the Greek gyro. You could do barbecue hot pocket with barbecue beef, barbecue pork. I'm doing breakfast. Uh, you can do all kind of things with this. And it's a perfect little vessel for it. It's very fresh. And these turned out perfect. You talk about stuffing that with pork. I can see stuffing that with some brisket right there now. Yeah, yeah, anything. <laughs> anything your little heart desires. And so you know you can do these in an oven, but it needs to be really hot, otherwise you're gonna risk drying them out. That's the beauty of a pizza oven, that's where they shine. And I've seen people do it on cast iron, but the problem with that, only one side will poof up and the other side not so much. And these ovens, it's like a balloon. It works really well. All right, I've got six eggs going into this. I've already scrambled up with a whisk. Add some sharp cheddar cheese, a little salt, and a little black pepper. Look at all that pepper. If y'all have never heard of the pepper cannon, I highly recommend this. It throws pepper out there like none other. One turn on this, one full turn equals 10 turns on a regular pepper mill. They are expensive, I'll tell you that before you even go to look. But if you've got a special someone that loves to cook and you're looking for a Christmas gift, there's another great idea right there. I'll have links in the description if you're interested in the pepper cannon. All right, so let's give it a shot here. That pizza oven, it, I just love it. It's so amazing. If you're interested in knowing more about the Fontana Mangiafuoco, that's the one that I have, then I want you to go see a video that I'm going to show you at the end of this video. There will be a card there. You can click on that if you want to learn all about this oven and how it's built. But right now, let's take a taste. Here we go. All right, let me set that down. I'll sit there and eat the whole darn thing. Like I said, you could do anything with these, and that really does remind me a lot of a video I did a few weeks ago that hadn't got many views, but it's, it turned out really good, and I'm talking about the Hot Pocket. And you can watch that video by clicking right up here. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I have a breakfast pita to eat.